Alright, Salu, this is my uh, breaking ball gauge for the Battle of Isaac. Ugh, if I just get in a better position, the Japanese man will give you the backstory. I, a domain in the north of Japan, has been home to stalwart supporters of the Shogunate since the beginning of the war. They are the cornerstone of modern resistance. Saigo Takamori's dream of restoring the Emperor depends upon this resistance being eliminated. The Imperial Army is approaching from the east, and Takamori must bring this force through the mountains. He knows the pass will be heavily defended. The ice defenders are divided into four groupings. The exact locations of these forces are unknown. Takamori must overcome whatever traps the ice defenders have set to win the north for his emperor. Right, this bit's fairly simple. Let's not talk over this guy. Uh, what I do is move the cannons up, uh, just like right smack bang in the middle of that cross section there on the road, and I split them in into two groups. I put the Imperial Infantry, it's Imperial, there might be a line, I can't remember. Um, Imperial Infantry on the left hand side, all four units, and I hide them. And then I take the Imperial Guard Cavalry, and I do the same thing, left hand side, and I hide them. And then I move the Tossa Rifles, the Imperial Guard Infantry, and the Kihei on the right hand side. I always make them run, and I'm pretty sure I've moved the General back as well. I think the General's further back, sitting on the mountain next to the trees, just so he doesn't get murdered. That's what, what I've just shown you there, that little camera run by, is usually where you'll find all of the units. So essentially what you do is you get them into the trees and then you hide them, and then the cannons up here, the pirate guns, uh, are forced to shoot at your own cannons. Or if you haven't hid your general, your general. So that's why we hide the general. We don't hide them, we just move them behind trees so he's got cover. So we move them up, I put the tosser rifles on the hill behind the uh, Ketai and the Imperial Guard just because the tosser rifles can't uh, kneel fire. Uh, I'll have the cannons on Lumber and hit the Yarikachi. The Kachi are the most dangerous body because they will stop my Sabre Cavalry from uh, doing anything else. Essentially, this is the first, if you want to get that wrecking ball guide, this is the first part you need to do. You need to eliminate these guys here. Um, right in front of the uh, cavalry here, this is about as far as you can place them. Because the white tigers can sometimes spawn in there. There's sometimes the white tigers will spawn, if you look at the minimap, the most northern uh, set of units, the most northern uh, grouping of men. Sometimes they will spawn in the forest behind those guys, between them and the guys on the left hand side. So the top left is sometimes where they'll spawn, but they usually spawn just in front of my uh, Imperial Guard Cavalry, so that's as far as they can go without disturbing them. And that would be quite a pain in the ass if you disturb them there as well, especially with these cannons still on left. So as you can see, I'm just, it's, it's quite... You, I don't really know how to explain it very well, but it's um, you, you get the the need you you feel the need to move the men up a little bit further each time or to, or to rush your cavalry in the woods so that you, the cannons stop firing on your men. But um, really, after this part, the, uh, the cannons aren't required. Your cannons, at least I actually lost mine um, after I alerted all the guys. The black tortoise came out of nowhere. Like one unit of black tortoise just popped out of nowhere and demolished me. So as you can see, I'm moving the Ketai and the uh, Imperial Guard in position, they will kneel. And then um, the Tosser Rifles will be able to shoot over their heads because they're up on higher ground. It's quite, you need a lot of patience for this. It's, it's quite easy just to press the R key and have them all run into position and then blow your cover. And I mean, even right there, it's quite easy to just decide, boof, okay, let's do it. 
gotta make sure they're all in position and they'll all fire. There we go. Make sure um, the front two use suppression fire and the tosser rifles don't. Tosser rifles are your, your accuracy, in that case, they're too far away for the suppression fire to do anything. So I've already shattered the cannons, I'm just gonna move the, uh, the sabers in. You wanna move the sabers in close enough so that they uh, give the concerned enemy on the flank morale uh, depleting. Or depletion, whatever you wanna call it, morale. Nerf buff. I don't know. So you can see I'm moving the uh, cavalry round, and they're being hit by the men in the front, and there's cavalry on their back, so they are uh, they're pretty scared right now. And eventually they'll just all shatter. In which case you can use the stop your men firing, have them cease fire. One of the things I didn't explain uh, there when you walk up is to make sure that the men do not have fire at will on, because they will just shoot anyone. Uh, regardless if they're hidden or not, they will just blow people up and you might not be in position or someone might be walking in front of them. So once that's done you want to immediately move all the men up there. As you can see the white tigers are in that bit of forest there, my cavalry spotted them. They, they barely moved to figure up at them so it really was the, uh, the end there. And I'm, as you can see I'm running the saber cavalry all the way up to the uh, forest on the left here and I'll put them in loose formation so as they can avoid being hit too much by the cannons. So we'll now cut to me finding the other two units. This is where the Vermilion, the Vermilion Bird uh, Force is. Right there, as you can see it's just popped up. Uh, sometimes it can be a little more to the right, pretty much where they're running. They're usually always on that, uh, that forest. Up. And over there, where I'm moving my men, is where the Azuri Dragons will be. Sometimes they, uh, they spawn on the map, um, at the bottom of the map, no the bottom, but like in between the, the castle and the most southern outside force. You'll, you'll sometimes see one accidentally placed outside the trees, so you kind of know where the Azures will be. But um, I actually thought they were on the right hand side forest there, and as you can see I'm getting bombarded by cannons, and I'm wavering hard. And there they go. So they shatter, and I'm like, oh well, I'll have to send another unit over there to alert the Azures. That's, that's really what you want, is to alert them all, but if you look at the uh, mini maps, look right in the middle of the screen, blinking dot, boom! Azuri Dragon Force. That was lucky. My lord, the eyes are sending the Azure Dragons against them. But the reason you put them in, uh, obviously the... Oh, this is me. Uh, use, I used an Imperial Guard. Basically what happens is you send the Sabres in and they will route. The Sabres are guaranteed to route unless you're good at dodging the uh, the artillery fire and whatnot. But um, if they don't route, it's fantastic. If they do route, then uh, what you do is they'll draw the fire away. They will actually lure away loads and loads and loads of these guys. As you can see, there's the Vermilion, Vermilion Christ Almighty, Bird Force over there. Um, so they lured them all away, which meant my... Uh, I just had to dodge the cannons as I ran my uh, Imperial Guard cavalry up. So here's the cavalry. And this is where the Black Tortoise usually is. And there they are. So all you do is you just run them straight down at this bit of forest here and make them hide. Really. So that's all of the uh, units found at once without killing any of them. That's all you have to do now, you just have to win. And uh, essentially this is me showing you. Uh, where I place my men. This is at the. Uh, this is behind the uh, third group of men, and I, I do the exact same thing as you can see. I've still got the four units on the uh, the far left there. They will always be there. They'll always be on those woods um, to clear out the rest of the guys. They will even they will walk down that side to get to the uh, the guys at the bottom there. And uh, these these three here plus a unit of uh, Imperial Guard cavalry. It's usually sabers if I'm not going for the achievement. Um, I don't waste my sabers. Uh, no, I've got a problem here. Like, my guys were in the suppression fire and they were essentially shooting and they gave away their position, but they stopped shooting. They didn't fire and I don't know why. So I, 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 that made this bit slightly harder and I thought it was going to reset to actually bring in the, uh, the uh, Imperials. And, uh, Far left. 
if you look at the, take a look at the mini map, um, this part is cool as it is. Take a look at the mini map. The uh, general's still way far back because those cannons are actually a risk. You can once the cannons are going, you can bring the general up. Obviously, we'll keep him in the fight. Yeah. So dotted along the woods on the right-hand side here yeah, is um, a white tiger force, and I think two Azuri dragons. And I already beat one of the black tortoises up here as well, so you haven't missed much. But it's essentially um, you're using stealth, uh, and the the three the three unit split on one side. It works every single time, and the cannons are essentially a, a non-threat unless you're running across the uh, the plains. I just put my men in the melee mode though because the cannons started shooting them, and they were not firing, really. So I'm luring the, uh, I think it's the, is this the White Tigers, the Azuris? I can't remember. Oh, it's Katana Catch, my bad. This is the Katana Catch that we're grabbing the cannons of now. Chase my camel, really. Right, so this is, uh, this big part one, part two probably show you me killing everybody else, just showing you how to get through the level properly, um, and how I specifically dealt with the, uh, the groups of things I have there. Um, the, the, as you can see, there's groups on the left-hand side of the mini-map, and um, that's White Tiger 2 Azuris, and I think there's a third one as well, or Azure, uh, as well, it's hidden properly, and um, if you take a look at my Keita and my Imperial Guard Infantry, they are both almost out of ammo, so I actually had to use the Tossa rifles to flank, like genuine flank, put them on the actual flank, so the, uh, the men lost my Ketais and my Imperial Guards, it's part rush them. But uh, everything worked out fine, so that's good. Just moving the men right in position, I think it's sort of the, uh, the attack by all the units, but um, I'm just going to cut this short, so it's just me killing unit after unit. Just one unit every time. Let's move the men up. I've, I've moved them up and I've made them run. Because I've spotted that my men are low on ammo, so I'm just going to have them sort of take the fire and uh, use the infantry there to dominate in the flank. So that's basically part one. And part two will be the demolition of these assholes. The vermilion birds on the uh, right hand side of the minimap there, all the way over there. And, um. Storming the castle, really. It's the easiest part. So, stay tuned, and I'll be back with more in about. however it takes you to 